thank you very much. Actually, you, you probably already um, said, but my question was, well, what, what, what would be your stand on WikiLeaks and Panama Papers? Because that, that's also sort of personal data, you could think of it like that. Yes, yeah, w WikiLeaks is um, less responsible than the way in which the newspapers have handled the Snowden data. And, WikiLeaks just seems to publish stuff that's given to it, as far as I can see. I don't think they go to a lot of trouble to um, try to make sure that they remove information that could, could be seriously damaging. Um, Snowden was, as I will um, we'll talk a little bit in, in, the, in the surveillance lecture about, about what Snowden says his motivation was, um, I mean, he has a particularly strong... Um, uh, belief that governments should not have a lot of power and that, that the American government has too much control over the citizens and so he was very keen to reveal the extent to which they were, were surveilling their, their citizens. But I think the way that The Guardian and, and other newspapers handled the Snowden Papers was actually pretty responsible. They went to a lot of trouble to, to do their best to maintain the, the important news story whilst at the same time um, trying to protect the, the individuals who, whose data might have been revealed as a consequence of that. And the security services are confident that they didn't get it right, but, but nevertheless it's, um, they, they, did, they did try hard. So I have a lot more sympathy for... I don't see how they could have, could have not run that story given that they were given it. I mean, it, was, it came as a great surprise even to the cabinet. So. Um, the sense that there was clear democratic oversight of what was going on is, is easily countered. 